Hey guys, today we're taking a look at Transformers Takara Collection Zero Convoy or Optimus Prime if you prefer and this one comes in a rather large box it's actually two boxes connected together that's the back of the uh, box for the binder on the other side and this all comes together in a big plastic cover we'll just get rid of for now so we've got two separate boxes so this is the little box that contains the binder you've seen that bit already and if we open it up put it the right way instructions on how to use a ring binder and it comes inside there in a plastic bag so this is the binder we've got Takara down there it's all done in nice silver that's the spine around the back transformers and if we open it up this comes with the index cards that you would use if you wanted to tear off all the little information cards we've got on the rest of the figures in the series so we've got Transformers World Cybertrons Destrons Transformers TV show episodes and the catalogue page and that's the back of that and this is the more familiar box we've seen with the rest of these releases on the back of this we can see that's the toy and all the components did come with a trading card and a sticker sheet which I don't actually have we've got the energy axe there from more than meets the eye part 2 rest of the figures in the series so far I think this came out between 7 and 8 I believe they're the coming soon and they're the ones that were already out at this point and then you can see some more details of what you get in the set and this wouldn't be a Takara collection release without the opening front which has velcro there and inside you can see there's, there's the toy and we've got the Transformer World cards so let's have a quick look through we've got a fold out picture of Optimus Prime there that side we've got the catalogue pages for the aerial bots and the protector bots we have the data file for Adams as he's called in uh, Japan but it's Cosmos and you can see the toy there and we've got Shockwave or laser wave as he's known in Japan and you can see his toy there and that page just says Cybertron and there's a picture of Convoy or Optimus Prime this is how he comes within the box in a plastic tray there's the cab, there's the blast of the axe Rolly you've got to keep taking the wheels on and off if you want to put him back and we've got the trailer section there here we can see Optimus Prime or Convoy in his truck mode. I'm not going to dwell too much on the figure and the transformation. I'll just sort of point out the differences. I have reviewed this guy twice already. The big difference in this mode, he's got the proper size smokestacks. In robot mode, not too many surprises really. The fists are the type with the extra little section on the top. We've got the big smokestacks which makes this figure so good and his blaster is the very large Japanese version this came with the original Japanese toy and that fits in there quite nicely also with this set we get his Energon Axe this was the first time we'd ever got one of these with a Generation 1 Optimus Prime and you can see it's all one piece but this was good because the Megatron from this release got the purple ball and chain so you can have them having a fight it fits in either hand nicely as for the trailer, there are some differences to, say, the commemorative reissue. If you remember, that one didn't fire. We also get a blue roller, not a grey one. So we can now launch him. Also, for this section, we get the short missiles, not those stupid long ones that we got with the commemorative reissue. We've got two there, another two still on the sprue. And obviously, these are going to fire. As with the commemorative reissue, we've got 1992 Hasbro underneath, suggesting that the mould was recopyrighted when they did the Generation 2 version. And like all Optimus Primes, we get the little hose, the little nozzle thing, and the bit that goes on the back of roller. I did notice this hose, it's not actually a tube, it's one solid piece all the way through. I can't remember if the other one was like that. So as you can see, this is significantly different to the commemorative reissue and also the later Encore version. This is really difficult to get for a good price. Even at the time when these came out, they were ridiculously expensive. If you can find one for under £100, you're doing very, very well. Is it worth it for the extra bits? For me, the smokestacks and the small missiles alone 
made this worth it but you get the bonus of the blue roller the little energy on axe thing and the big blaster so in my opinion damn well worth it so this has been luke with the takara collection number zero convoy or optimus prime thanks for watching and i'll see you next time